Okay, guys, we're going to try and do this. I right, let me look at my phone here just so I make sure I got up on the screen. Hey, how's it going? This is the Verbal Widget. I'm just uh, sitting in my living room watching TV. No, actually just at the computer desk. Um, I was looking for a part from Mayor Racing. Let me focus up here, right up here. Mayor uh, Racing USA. So I go over here to dirt, and first thing I see is a new item, and it is for 96 to 2020 Suzuki DR650 frame rails, or frame guards. These attach to your frames, pretty cool, pretty cool. I may end up trying out a set. All of a sudden, I look over here, and this is for all the people, uh, when I ran that video of me putting the scoop on my 650 DR, oh, it's not needed. Oh, man, you know, you're ruining the bike. It's ugly. I took a lot of flack over that. And uh, this this is a uh, 96 to 2020 Suzuki DR650 Air Scoop. New. They must be watching the Verbal Widget guy. Because it's 5161, you can still make yours for uh, 30 bucks if you do it my way. Pay them 52 bucks uh, to do it this way. But uh, just so you guys can see, I, I I stand vindicated. I feel better. So um, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I had made a small video and I thought, nah, this is kind of chintzy. I don't think I'll play it. But um, like I said, after seeing this, I, I may just attach this to the front of the video. Um, but anyway, um, and if you click on it, which we will do, there it is. It's the uh, 96 to 2020 Suzuki DR650 Air Scoop, $51.61. It uh, attaches with two screws. And it comes in black. Oh, you think that would flip, don't you? Black, white, blue, yeah, and yellow, like the old uh, verbal widget guy. All right, you can do through PayPal. And here's the pictures. This is what I was trying to get to. Um, yeah, it fits basically like mine does. It fits. Uh, it says the DR650 scoop was designed to increase airflow over the oil cooler, helping to prolong the service life of your motorcycle which is all I wanted to do. Um, fits the 96 through 2020 uh, DR650s. And uh, so you got this picture here. Looks kind of cool. Looks like they did a pretty good job. I'm not sure. Uh, they always had trouble with their plastic. So, but uh, um, but anyway, it there it is. Here you go. <laughs> so... I just want you guys to see this, and thank God my video was out. I don't know who was first to get this out, but uh, like I said, actually, whoa, look at that ginormous size. I took kind of a lot of crap on that, and I thought, well, you know, if anything, I think it looks cool, but I do know it's helping because mine was trying to peel itself off the bike, so I knew it was drawing wind in. So uh, anyway, that's... Uh, the latest from Mayor Racing. I'll give him a plug, and I will give myself a thumbs up. I don't, like I said, I don't know who was first. Doesn't care, but uh, yeah, I took a lot of crap. Uh, uh, not that I can't handle it, of course. But uh, and then these uh, frame guards. Like I said, I may purchase a set of these. Yeah, there you go. Uh, these are seventy bucks. Uh, this will keep the paint from rubbing on your bike. And I was actually looking for a pair of frame guards for another one of my bikes. Um, when I saw their opening page. Um, so, anyway, here's frame guards for the DR... Whoa, holy crap, man. Okay. Anyway, here's the frame guards for this, uh, for the DR650. So that might be an option for you guys. Um, you know, just to uh, kind of protect that area. Uh, or, if, you know, if you buy a new one, keep it looking fresh. Uh, you know, what's kind of handy is to put some of that clear vinyl underneath. And then that way the frame guards won't rub the frame. Um, anyway, quick video. I was just uh, um, 
like I said, I was just on the their website. I was looking for frame guards for another bike of mine, but I didn't see them. And then I ran into this bad boy. So let's see if we can get the ginormous size on this. Whoa! Okay. Um, anyway, so that's it. Let's see if we can put it down. Whoa, there you go. That way everybody see it. 3D. This is the 3D version. Um, this is what it looks like with the air going through. Ready? Okay. So, um... Anyway, same principle, same thing, same reason I wanted to do it. If, you know, if a company like Mayer's doing it, here, let's blow this up. They have a nice look on a demo bike. Look at that. You know, those are kind of looks like the widget bike. Yeah, I got the screen, you know, the, the bags on the back, you know, the same skid plate. Yeah, I don't know who's copying who, but like I said, it's just, uh, you know, they got a good product out there. I think it's, uh, you know... I'm not out riding right now because it's 113, 14 degrees. So, uh, uh, but here's their scoop right here. And it, like I said, it looks like it's kind of the same, probably attaches. I don't know how, but, uh, um, yeah, there you go. How's that for you? So anyway, I'm going to sign off. I just saw that. Oh, they haven't got the foot peg lowering kit on it yet. Um, oh, they do have the, uh, oh, those are the, uh, I was going to say they got the, got the Kinda K270s, but those are the, uh, Shinko version. So, anyway, that's what you got, guys. Comes in a, what, black, white, blue, yellow. And uh, there's 51 bucks if you want to go that route. I, you know, for me, it can't hurt. And so, uh, if anything, I'll use this for a lead-in. I may just throw that one video I did up. Like I said, I wasn't going to. I didn't want to seem chintzy or nothing. But, uh, um, anyway, that's all I got to say. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Um and yeah, uh, check out Mayor Racing for the website. Uh, boy, you think they would have put those frame guards on here, don't you? You know, right here, uh, just to promote their other products so we could see it on the bike. But uh, yeah, it would have been kind of handy. So maybe they didn't have those out yet. Maybe they did the scoop first. I'm not sure what it is. And uh, yeah, that's all I know. Uh, anyway, yeah, give me give me a shout out to uh, Mayor Racing. Um, and that's the, that's the bad boy right there. So I will talk to you guys later. Uh, we'll see you on the trails. Make your own adventures, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Back with you. I um, just thought I'd do a little post. Um, I've had a couple guys email me on my little scoop here saying it's not needed. Yeah, it probably isn't. But uh, as I've been riding here, we're 111 degrees. Sometimes it goes to 112. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, but it's 111. Um, and right now I'm sitting at 197 degrees on my temperature just because I'm stopped. But um, now I'm at 200 and my yellow light's on. But it's just so stinking hot here in Arizona um, that anything you can do to cool this beast down quicker or more efficiently. And really, it was for the, uh, the Honda XR650. Uh, some guy was saying, oh, yeah, they kids ride them hard and, you know, uh, they don't have oil coolers or anything on them uh, but yeah you know my XR650 the oil cooler and the scoop has dropped at like 50 pounds or 50 pounds it's dropped at 50 degrees over what it was uh, having the scoop alone did I mean the uh, cooler alone didn't do much but adding the scoop really brought the air in and same way on this way uh, this guy here I'm down to 154 degrees now and uh, you know I live in the desert, you know, where they have uh, dust devils and, you know, high temps. And uh, even when I was answering the guy back last night, it was 95 degrees at midnight. So, um, and we still got our hot month to go. Um, so, yeah, I know you see the scoops on the side and uh, may need them, may not. But what I'm trying to do is just keep these uh, air-cooled thumpers as cool as I can. Uh, I, I want to get a long life out of them. I don't have any plans to 
upgrade the bikes or buy something else. I'm going to have them for a long time. And uh, so that's the reason by that. So I thought I'd do a quick video. Yeah, we're now, uh, we were at 200. Now we're 146. And uh, yeah, I might have dropped it down like that anyway. But, you know, like I told one guy, it actually looks cool on this. Uh, this one's more, I would say, decorative. Maybe not. Maybe not at highway speeds. Uh, but the XR650 is actually a necessity. If you got the Sutton cooler, then you definitely need to uh, run a scoop to it so it pulls air in and through the fins of the cooler. So, but yeah, like I said, we're sitting 111 degrees. And it is 130, 123. So, so just a little update on that. Just to give you a little thought on... Uh, you know why I make the extra effort to mount a side scoop on the oil cooler on this and the XR650. So anyway, that's about it. I'm going to sign this thing off, save my batteries and memory card for when we get somewhere exciting. But uh, yeah, 110, 112 degrees. I'll take all the cooling help I can get. So we'll talk to you again. Bye.